Hi, and welcome to section 2. Hope you have warmed up your engines in the previous section. In this section, we are going to deal with Swift objects. Creating objects is something that all Swift developers know. However, creating them properly is not something that everybody knows. So, here we are in the first video of section 2. For starting this section, we are going to learn about a feature called Access Control. As you might imagine, our first question is, what's Access Control? We can say that it's the restriction of which part of the code can access the implementation or definition we've created. And what does it mean? It means that classes, enumeration, structs, methods and properties might be available to everywhere or only to some areas. Let's have a look on one example. For this example, I'm going to use a simple project which can be downloaded from the resource files of this video. If you'd like to open the same project, please open the workspace file, which usually has a white icon. OK? Great. Let's open it. Once the workspace is open, we can appreciate that there is a framework and an application which uses the framework. Let's start by opening a file called targetclass.swift by using the shortcut Command Shift O. Then we can write target class and select the corresponding Swift file. After opening the file, we can appreciate that there is a class called target class and a property called property. Now the question is, who can make use of this class? Let's see. First, let's try to use it inside an extension which is defined in the same file as the target class. And then we can try using it in another class which is defined in the same file as well. Let's compile it with command B and as we can see, it worked! Now let's try to use it on a different file. Let's switch to another file with command shift O and write in app class. Now, Let's try to use our code here. Let's compile with command B and it fails. Why didn't it work? Is it because they are on different files? Is it because they are on different projects? Does the compiler have a bug or anything like this? Let's have a look. The reason we couldn't compile was due to access control. Swift has five levels of access control. The first level and least restrictive one is open. The definition can be used from everywhere. If it's a class, it's also allowed to inherit from it. And if it's a method, it's also allowed to override it. We also have public, which means that the definition can be used from everywhere. However, if it's used from different modules, it's not allowed to inherit from it or overriding it. Then we have internal, which means that the definition can be used only inside the same module. Next, we have file private, which means that its scope is the file where it was defined. Last but not least, private, which means that the definition can only be seen by its class. Nothing else can access it. So, if we don't specify anything, what's the default behavior? The default behavior is internal. And this is the reason we couldn't compile. The target class is inside the framework, and the app class is in another module. Then, how can we solve this problem? Let's try making it open. For making the target class open, we have to go back to its file using the shortcut Command Shift O and type in target class. Select the corresponding file. And here, let's type open before the keyword class. Well, the class is open, but the property is not. So, we have to type open before the keyword var. Is it all? Again, the answer is no. Because there is something that is here, we can't see it, but I assure you, it is here, which is the initializer. If we don't say anything, the initializer will be internal which means that we have to open it for instantiating this object from a different module. 
However, it makes no sense creating an initializer as they can't be overridden. As you might imagine, the solution is making it public. Creating an empty initializer is enough for this case. Now we can return back to the app class with command shift O and type in app class. And let's try to compile it again with command B and it worked. Now we have another question. Which one is the right way? Shall we develop everything open by default or shall we leave everything as private as we can? The answer is we have to leave everything as private as possible. We shall only open classes and methods whenever their logic requires it. Now that we've understood what access control is, let's dive even more into it. Swift allows us having a property setter with a lower access control than its scatter. Let's see how it works. For this example, let's return back to the target class. Here we can leave the property getter as open for reading from anywhere, but the setter as internal. Pay attention to its syntax. And how does this affect our project? If we compile it, the compilation fails, as we are assigning value from a different module and it's not allowed anymore. However, we can still read its value. For example, let's try to print this property value. Build the project with command B, and as we can see, the project can be perfectly compiled.